What's good, YouTube? We back with another video. Today we here. We got twenty Yeezy Pot, twenty dollar Yeezy Pot collection. Is it worth it or not? Yeah, y'all know. Uh, at the Super Bowl, Kanye West dropped the um. He paid seven hundred dollars. He's paid seven million dollars for a commercial slot, but he paid no money for the ad he recorded on his phone. Then right after that, he dropped all his clothes his on his site collection. for teaching. He made him twenty dollars. You know, the pod, the shoes, the sock shoes everybody went, where everybody was talking about, they was 200 Then he refunded everybody back that uh, bought from the Yeezy site the $200 if you bought them. He refunded 180 Oh, he refunded 180 so that'd be $20. So, I guess you're trying to make affordable clothes. So, let's see if these shoes are worth it and any of the other collection are worth it. I copped uh, a little shirt. And then, you know, we're gonna see what it come by what it what it is when it come in. But let's see what the man's talking about with the uh no, but I can't get it worth it. With tonight. the Yeezy collection. This is the first Yeezy sneaker since the split with Adidas. That John ugly. What? Immediately that John ugly. Are you talking about the sock? They can't hear you. You talking so low. Yeah, immediately that sock ugly. And it costs $20. It's just a sock with two plastic pads yeah, on, on the, the bottom. On the heel and the toe. Like, what would you wear this, though? This is our first. Oh, right, right here with these sweatpants, they don't look bad, they though. They don't look bad. It's so much <laughs> That shirt is great, though. That's it. That's Kanye's shirt, too. That make his neck look weird. Yeah, it, he got, got shoulders. So it comes in a thin black nylon bag with some elasticated drawstrings. No labels, no paper shoe inserts, nothing, just the shoes. So the internet has absolutely been going crazy over the past few days, all because of Yeezy's brand new $20 sneaker and clothing line. There's a lot. See, as you've seen, he, he dropped all these clothes. $20. For $20, the man made $19 million after that commercial. He paid seven million for the commercial, made nineteen million right after the commercial. People start flooding his site for twenty twenty dollar clothes. Can't they say it is thick clothes and it's good. You can't beat that, man. Can't beat that. But yeah. I want, want y'all to comment below what you think we bought. We actually bought the same shirt. So what out of all these shirts, what y'all think we bought? You will see a video on that later. Our sneaker and clothing line. There's a lot of questions, a lot of confusion because these only come in three sizes. So some people bought them and don't even know if they're gonna fit. So I've had these for the past few days and I think this sneaker sock can be boiled down to four points. Practicality, marketing, use case, and the future. So practicality. Well, it's a sock shoe. Now, not the first sock shoe. That might have to go to Vetmont or at least they claim they were the original with this post right as Yeezy announced the launch of these. And then... So they got... Oh, so they've been sock shoes. Just Yeezy, he just... You know, he always do it on a big scale. But they almost all look the same. To me, I like... Vet mints. Vet mints. It's just a fatter foot. They, they got a whole bottom. The yeah, whole like, bottom is like on there. whole bottom on there. Balenciaga announced theirs right after. The point is, this has been done before, but is it practical? In my experience, yes and no. Well, even before all of that, I think the first issue you're gonna run into with these is, will they fit? So these are only sold in three sizes. One, two, and three. And that's another thing about his whole site. Everything you buy had size one, two, three, like you're, like you're a babe, like you wear t-shirts or something. But all, I guess it just made him have less sizes so he could just sell to almost anybody. Like, it's crazy. Normally, sneakers are sold in up to 24 different sizes. But with yeah. these, they have ranges. So a number one is a US size six to an eight and a half. Number two is a nine to 10 and a half. And that's number a, three is- That's a huge difference. Huge a six to eight and a half. Is these shoes really even fitting or are they just putting on the super stretchy sock? 
an 11 to a size 13. I'm personally a size US 9 or EU 42. So I fall right at the beginning of a size 2. So that's what I bought. And at the bottom of the shoe, right next to the made in Italy sign, you can see two little dots to indicate the sizing. So if you got a size 1, there would be one dot or a three, three dots. So again, no labels or tags or production codes or anything like that. Everything you need to know is right here at the bottom of the shoe. So honestly, what I've found with so you really be best off if you were like if you had if your foot size at the end of that the size guy you will really be best off for real for real because other than that the shoe gonna be too long at the end yeah like if you like if it's like a nine to a what it was thirteen or nine through I think a nine through ten, 11, and, a half. ten and a half if you were like a ten ten and a half you'll really be best off because mm. he was nine you got much spaces on there these is ideally you want to be on the largest end of each size. So I personally probably would be better off with a size one. However, these do fit me and they don't look ridiculous like that image that was posted a couple weeks ago. These feel fine. They are so lightweight and the sock material is so tight that when you have them on, it's not like you're slipping around or anything. Hello everybody, Anton Crilly here from Dropship Lifestyle. And in this quick video, I want to talk about anything like that. So even if you did get a size that you feel is too big and kind of what I'm feeling with these, you don't slip around. The sock material is a lot thicker than you would think. So it's very constrictive and it really does hold your foot down to this or hold these onto your foot. So this stretchy fabric is definitely not the same as the typical cotton that you get with your regular socks. So if I had to recommend anything, I would say try and line up with the largest size in each number. And if you're in the middle, that should be fine as well. For example, if you're a size 11, I would recommend going with a size two instead of a three, just to avoid being in the smallest size of that number. So I said that this is a $20 sneaker, but that's not what most people see them as. Because for almost- One thing about his marketing, he went crazy to sell these shoes. Like who really buying sock shoes? What you doing with these shoes? These how how difficult they is to put on, I can't even call them house shoes. Like, I don't know what you're gonna do with these. Seven weeks, this was a $200 sneaker. They released these for pre-order on December the 28th for $200. And what most people thought was, hey, $200 for a pair of socks? But obviously people still bought them, including me for this review. So when seven weeks later, they dropped the price of these things from $200 down to just 20. Everybody thought that it was some kind of mistake or error on the website. But I think that this- I bought my junk kind of fast in the instance of knowing he was going to sell out or stop selling. That man ain't stopped selling to the day, man. You go in there, we you say and buy the exact same thing, everything everybody else bought was planned all along. You see, if Yeezy released a pair of sneakers for $20, everybody would see them as just being worth $20. But if it's a $200 shoe that is now $20, the perceived value is way higher. Wow. So when Ye released... I didn't even think about it. He sold them for $200 for months. Then he go back and drive them 200 Now everybody got to grab them because they was a $200 shoe for 20 You can't not get them. That's why I got them. That's crazy. His now infamous Super Bowl advert and dropped the price of these to $20, 266,000 pairs were sold in a single day. And then to further prove my theory of this being planned all along, they then announced that they were going to be refunding $180 to anybody that bought these for $200. This is That's too crazy smart. marketing. Like, That's who would even smart. thought to do something like this? That Kanye, that about Kanye different so now we have an actual $20 Yeezy sneaker. But what is the actual use case for these? Are we wearing them around? Are they even comfortable? Or at the very least, do they look good? Well, again, after I've personally been wearing these around, in fact, I even did 10,000 steps in these on a treadmill while planning out this video, I think there's more to these than we initially thought. So are they comfortable? Yes. They feel like wearing a pair of socks with a sole attached. And it's kind of a freeing feeling when you put them on. From certain angles, they almost look like socks only. You don't even see the bottom. Although getting them on is a little bit tougher than I initially thought. Because the sock material is pretty tight, you do have to. 
<laughs> since, it's a, since it's a shoe sock, I guess you got to wear socks mm-hmm. with the shoe. With the shoe. I heard, <laughs> I heard if you don't wear the socks with the shoe, it don't be that it don't feel right. Hmm. Wiggle around and even adjust them a little bit when you have them on. But once you're in them, you'll immediately notice that these soles feel way more cushioned than you might have thought. It feels like two foam pads rather than a hard rubber like they kind of appear. But the really interesting thing I found wearing these is that they have a lot of the same qualities as barefoot shoes. Three out of four people have a foot problem. That's 75 to 80 percent of the adult population. Not all, but a lot of this is down to modern shoes being so constrictive and cushioned, causing the muscles in your feet to not activate and work properly when you're walking or running. And weak feet causes an alarming amount of issues like back pain, hip pain, bad posture. Who would ever thought weak feet caused all these problems though? Maybe I need to start walking barefoot more often. What you say? I ain't even thought of that. I know my feet be real thin. I walk barefoot. They <laughs> be hurting quick joint stress, the list really does go on. I mean, one look online and there is a literal barefoot shoe revolution. Why she got fingers for toes? Look how fingers. I mean, look how toes. It's crazy because... Well, I did. See, in this picture right here at the bottom left, this how your feet supposed to be wide. Like, your feet be like this because you're told this. And then, and then they say you get more balance and stuff. I seen a video on that not too long ago. That's so crazy. So we have frog feet. Happening right now. I mean, personally, I would rather not have my feet looking anything oh, like LeBron. Bro, feet too. That boy been hooping too long. He man, he might well cut that pinky toe off. He pinky toe like it grew later. He's in a way like a fungus. <laughs> but at the same time, barefoot shoes, at least in my opinion. Pre- Hey, we're the Try Guys. Today we're gonna see how much money Keith can fundraise for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital using and pretty damn ugly. But when I was wearing these Yeezy socks, I found that my toes were gripping the ground like they everybody were supposed to. And I- everybody need to cut me a pair of these paws, man, for 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 health reasons. You feel me? Actively working, and because this has a wider platform or toe box area, it allows your toes to move around a lot more freely, like they're supposed to, rather than how a normal sneaker constricts your toes and keeps them in a very immobile position. Obviously, these are sock shoes, so they do have limitations. I personally would not hike or run or do any activity that would potentially cause something hitting the top of my foot. So there is all of that. So my personal use case for these would be a lot of. Walking. But another big part of these, especially because it's a Yeezy sneaker, is do they look good? Well, I tried them on with a bunch of different pants, so you tell me what you think. With shorts, I personally... Shorts is a no. That's a big no. That looks crazy. They don't think they look that great. With jeans, I mean, it's okay. Jeans is decent. I feel like you gotta wear something to cover up most of your shoe when you're wearing You have to wear some cotton pants, look like... You don't think you can wear some flare jeans? I don't know, bro. With cargos, it's slightly better, but I think joggers are probably the best looking out of all of them, at least in my opinion. But at the end of the day, it's all subjective, and if you like the look... This this right here, I don't know, don't... I think I need some bigger pants, because my feet look a little too long. Of these things, if you like looking like a ninja, then hey, you may love the look of them. So what does this mean for the future? What does this pair of shoes represent? Well, for a very long time, Ye has been trying to sell clothing or sneakers for just $20. I'll be selling for $20 each. Be $20. At least get it to $20. Everything we do is going to cost $20. He tried it and planned to do it with the Adidas Yeezy foam. Imagine having some good quality fire clothes for $20. You can't buy no good shirt for $20 nowadays. He gonna mess the market up, boy. <laughs> Ooh, man. Everybody gonna be fresh for no reason. He also tried with a lot of the Gap clothing, but inevitably none of that ended up coming to fruition. And he said that that was a big part of why he was so upset with these partnerships. How they saw the hype generated by this collaboration and knew that they could charge a lot more and people would still buy it. So now completely independently, he managed to release a full collection for just $20 each. But is this sustainable? And will we see all future Yeezy products just Mm. cost $20. What I will say is that this first collection, so the shoes, the clothing, it does really indicate if he keep doing this twenty dollar stuff, bro, it's gonna all have to be pre-ordered, and his shipping gonna have to get real backed up, bro. 
I don't know if anybody gonna be able to manage the. Why you think gotta be twenty? Why you think gotta be pre order? What you need to get a warehouse? If he sell out, bro, it's gonna sell out so fast. Yeah, it really depends on how much inventory you get in. For twenty dollars, bro, don't, he ain't gonna have enough inventory. He's he's not gonna have enough inventory. He did a pre order on this one. It took four. It said four months for um. Anything yeah, four to come weeks. In. I mean, yeah, four weeks. Our saving measures were taken, like the packaging. It's as basic as possible. Not just for the shoes, but the clothing just comes in a shipping package. The shoes themselves are extremely basic. The clothing, at least the two t-shirts that I've tried, are literally one piece of fabric with two stitches and a slice in the middle so that you can get your head in. But I don't think it's impossible. These are clearly not profit-first products. The Vetmont socks are pretty comparable to these, and they cost... Oh my goodness. Who the hell would thought? Balenciaga, thousand plus socks, seven hundred dollars. Vim, whatever that place is, socks. They tripping bad. Seven hundred. Not a bad. That's not a good buy. Balenci and I can't imagine Balenciaga's pair costs any less than that. So it's very safe to say that future Yeezy drops will be affordable at the very least. Ye also posted a picture to Instagram of him sat with the Adidas CEO. And the caption read that he offered Adidas 20% for distribution and manufacturing. This would not only help Yeezy grow, but also bring costs down, especially shipping costs, which are currently pretty expensive. Right now, we live in a world where obscenely expensive shoes are the norm. And the prices of these shoes aren't based on the man all designer shoes cost so much and i know they cost a, a fraction to make they probably cost like for some louis vuitton shoe that cost like 1600 no it costs less than probably 50 dollars to make them shoes like it's crazy to market. Cost them for 20 probably 15 dollars fool you know they say they can only cost like five dollars to make a cell phone an iphone crazy product quality or value they're typically based on false scarcity and hype through different ways like collaborations i mean we're just about to get a seventy-five thousand dollar pair of timberlands from pharrell so the idea of a seventy-five thousand dollars for some shoes is insane bro think about how much a car costs i i can buy a whole bmw for that much and you finna wear a, P, a shoe a pair oh, of shoes bro oh got money $20 pair of Yeezys that has no limit on the amount of purchases could potentially have a pretty big impact on the sneaker industry and potentially shift the focus to a product first mentality instead of I've got these shoes and you don't. So is the $20 Yeezy collection worth it? For a $100 t-shirt, $200 sneakers, no. But for $20, yes. This is definitely worth it. Let me know what you guys think of the $20 Yeezy collection down in the comments section section and did you buy any of it and if you want to dive even deeper into these or the entire collection well check out that video over there i said the same thing for what? for twenty dollars oh that junk worth it it's worth it for twenty dollars two hundred dollars for them i mm -hmm. wouldn't pay it but comment down below if you if you a cop any of these and new twenty dollars to i mean if you got twenty dollars you want some decent materials he got it you want some shoes that's good for your toes he got it. Sure if you want a collar that you ain't never had before, he got it. But if you want some Yalvish, <laughs> we got it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't lying. Hey, it coming soon, man. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, yeah, Yeezy, man. He doing some crazy stuff, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what uh, what you want to see down below. And we're going to keep it coming, keep it going, man. Y'all stay Yalvish.